Hello, PlayStation fans. We asked you to tell us about PlayStation characters that annoyed the f out of you. Here's part two of our favorite replies. Uh, no, that's ridiculous. No way. I don't believe you. Up first, we have Rich. Tidus was the most annoying protagonist of the entire Final Fantasy series. To which lots of people replied in order to complain about a certain character trait. Stephanus replied, That laugh haunts me to this day. <laughs> Next up, we have Katie. I've just replayed the Spyro trilogy and I found the thieves even more irritating. Ross remembers all too well. A true test of patience chasing them lap after lap after lap, after lap. That's ridiculous. Don't try to deny it. You know I'm right. Stop lying to me. <sighs> Do you ever play video games to get away from your other half? If so, then Bill's here to tell you that MGS2 isn't the game for you. Rose annoyed me from MGS2. Raiden was already unbearable as a main protagonist, but then you have to deal with his obnoxious, clingy girlfriend constantly calling you. Unsurprisingly, Bill wasn't alone. She'd call you in the middle of a stealth mission to talk about your f***ing anniversary. Not true. Really? Then would you still go out with me even if I weren't beautiful? Uh, of course. Do you like me for me? Or is it my reputation? As they often say, you can't remake a first impression. Zell in Final Fantasy VIII, idiotic character and couldn't dump him out of the party fast enough. His intro FMV alone made me want to punch the screen. Let it be known that if you want to stay out of Robert's bad books, then backflipping around like a prat is the worst thing that you can do. Of course you're Tommy, I mean, why else would anyone want to speak to me? Benjamin here feels like obtaining Hillary's services was a waste of time. Hillary King from Vice City makes you do one of the hardest races in series history to win his services. And then, as the getaway driver gets killed immediately before he can actually drive the car. Hey guys, get in, I got you covered. And finally, James really hated the jesters from Final Fantasy IX. Zorn and Thorn used to really annoy me. The way they talked, the bouncing dance they did. I took a lot of enjoyment when I utterly destroyed them. I mean, we thought they were fun, but quickly found out that we might be alone in thinking this. Every conversation with them took twice as bloody long because they both had to speak. Surprised they didn't get a repetitive strain injury from skipping their dialogue. And on that bombshell. What were your most annoying PlayStation characters? Let us know down in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs> for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to make sure you don't miss any videos in the future. Cheers! <laughs> you probably shouldn't laugh anymore. Ah <laughs> ha!